During the 10 years she spent as the co-host of the fourth hour of the Today Show alongside Kathy Lee Gifford, how did Cadby turn herself into a constant presence in the lives of millions of people's morning routines? This is probably why there was such a positive reception to the news that she'd be replacing Matt Lauer as the series' permanent co-host following his dismissal in 2018. With NBC's Today Show starting at 7 a.m. on the dot each and every morning, Howda needs to keep herself as close as possible to her workplace at NBC Studios in order to get there on time. That means for the past number of years, she's been living out of an upper Manhattan apartment that makes for a very easy commute. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. When Howda first moved to New York City from New Orleans, she quickly learned that you don't get much bang for your buck living in the Big Apple. During a discussion with Huffington Post, Howda reflected on her initial experiences hunting for a New York apartment, only to discover how often there's a total and complete lack of space. She revealed, The lady was like, there's the apartment I want to show you. Over here's the bedroom. Now look right over here. Turn, here's the living room. I was standing in one room and I couldn't believe that that's what they were renting. Oh yeah, they go, and we've got beautiful outdoor space. They opened up these doors and there was like a window box area. Well, Howda never ended up living in that place, but it wasn't because she was appalled by how small it was. Instead, she didn't wind up living there because someone else scooped it before she could. That's when she learned another important lesson about real estate in New York City. It doesn't stay on the market for long at all. Fortunately, Howda eventually landed her own apartment, one with an open plan living room and kitchen that makes for a welcoming and vibrant kind of home. The majority of that space is decorated in a muted color scheme and includes a circular glass table as well as a soft linen couch with matching cushions. This space is perfect, especially when celebrating a festivity like Mother's Day. As much as Howda might cherish spending time at home with her two young adopted children, Haley and Hope, that doesn't mean that they've made her home life any simpler. If anything, they've actually made it more chaotic, and it's not like Howda needs any help in that department. She formerly explained to Architectural Digest, I'm in my apartment looking at my kitchen and it's revealing. Every cabinet door is open and has been since the last time I needed something inside. In this drawer, two old Blackberry phones, a turkey baster, an old checkbook. Is that a driver's license? Yes, expired in 2013. I think I'm just wired to be disorganized. And while Howda's apartment might be a mess of clutter these days, back when she moved her first daughter into the apartment, it was the exact opposite, almost empty. She told People Magazine in 2017, I had no stuff. The only things I had when I got home were on a rock on play bassinet, hampers and formula. There was nothing there. Since then, the place has most definitely filled up. In fact, it might even be a bit too crowded now with all the activity sets and fun-filled toys Howda has bought for her children and crammed into the small space situated between her living room and the kitchen table. Not that you'd ever know that they were short on room with smiles like that plastered across all three of their faces. The living room also features a geometric print rug sitting on top of her hardwood flooring as well as two white wooden tables that have been utilized as a makeshift television stand. Then there's the kids bedroom or possibly a playroom which has been decked out with even more toys while also painted in a calming shade of cream and decorated with colorful cutouts that have been hung on the window to celebrate Howda's birthday. One of the clearest looks we've ever had of Howda's New York unit is a rather a recent clip she posted to social media in which she and her kids welcomed her brother to the apartment to celebrate his birthday. It's evident from that last social media post that Hoda's apartment boasts some truly stunning views of the Manhattan skyline, even if the apartment itself looks to be pretty compact. Thankfully, when she and her family are looking to spread their wings, they have a secondary home that isn't all that far away from their first. Rather recently in 2018, Howda purchased herself an additional home in the Point Lookout Hamlet of New York State. Now whenever she wants to sneak away from the bright lights of the Big Apple, Howda and her kids head to their four bedroom, two and a half bathroom home located on Reynolds Channel, which Howda spent a reported $2 million on. 
Much like her apartment in New York City, this waterfront home boasts an open plan living room that includes a nearby kitchen with some adorable paintings created by her kids hanging on the side of her fridge. Something that no doubt helps this place feel even more like home. There's also a flat screen TV mounted inside of a built in corner entertainment unit that Howda likes to use whenever she's got the time to invest herself in a competitive tennis match. As for the dining room, well, with all the extra space that she has out here, it includes a wide wooden table alongside some matching wooden chairs with white frames. In fact, this is the very spot where Haley and Hope started their own business as ice cream entrepreneurs. Speaking of Haley and Hope, this residence also offers them a playroom all their own, with a variety of toys, multicolored balloons, and a whiteboard to keep them interested and busy. Of course, how does got some space of her own here as well, but the only thing we really know about her bedroom for sure is that it includes an antique dresser that she uses as a TV stand to catch up with what's apparently one of her favorite flicks, Jennifer Lopez's Made in Manhattan. This home feels especially magical right around Christmas time, whether it's because of the epic snowfall that area of the state tends to receive, or because Howda never spares any expense when it comes to decorating for the holidays by turning the inside of her home into a magical place where Haley and Hope can celebrate the festivities to their tiny heart's desires. While speaking with the folks at Today, how to explain what spending time with her kids means to her during the holidays, stating, I don't think there is anything better, sorry, than when your kids are looking out the window looking for Santa. Was that him? Was that a shooting star? Was that Santa? I saw a red dot. Is that Rudolph? All those cool magical things. They remind you of just the wonder of being a kid. Unfortunately, this past Christmas was a little bit more difficult than it had been in previous years due to the fact that earlier last year, Howda and the father of her two children, Joel Schiffman, separated. Howda and Joel dated for over six years, during which time they adopted both of their daughters before Joel finally popped the question to Howda with a white diamond and sapphire engagement ring that was believed to be as worth as much as 250k in November 2019. They then wound up delaying their wedding a number of times amidst the pandemic that set in soon after, and ultimately the wedding never happened at all after the two split up. How to went public with the news in January of 2022, and she's since come to terms with sharing her personal life a bit more with her fans, even inviting People Magazine into her home to discuss what a joy it's been to raise two children on her own. I'm sure with the effort that Howda clearly makes to be a meaningful presence in her daughter's lives, that sentiments like that will only continue to be the case well into the future. But for right now, that'll bring this house tour to a close. Before you head out, consider answering the following question for me. If you had to be in the office before 7 a.m. each morning, how short of a commute would you need between your home and work? Let me know if you'd need to be living right next door to work in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat further, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!